Good evening. We're going to call this meeting to order at 7:10 p.m. I apologize for us being late. And for the pledge, Mr. Steckel, could you introduce our, our leaders of the pledge? I certainly can. Um, this evening we have students from uh, Tracy Elementary School, uh, courtesy of Mr. Hightower, their principal, and he sends three people who represent uh, fourth grade at Tracy Elementary School. We have Michaela Mattis, and Michaela's teacher is Mrs. Manchester, Braden Hubbard, and the teacher is Mr. Sonoa, and Alex, <laughs> and I, I won't say her full name, Alexandra Branstetter, and the uh, teacher is Mrs. Metzger. And I just wanted to, um, uh, a small plug for uh, Tracy Elementary School. Uh, the students at Tracy Elementary School, third grade group of students on March 14th, uh, participated in Odyssey of the Mind and came in first place. Uh, these children are from that same school. So uh, uh, just a shout out to Tracy Elementary School. And congratulations to those students. And at this time, would you please rise so we can do the pledge. Uh, very brief report tonight, Mr. President. We have uh, had a stretch of bad weather and difficult uh, times since the last time we met. And uh, just to reassure everyone that things have been going as uh, planned, we've made up most, if not all, of the activities that were postponed or uh, canceled because of the weather and the challenges that we faced. Our folks did a great job in terms of cleaning our properties and making sure that uh, things were taken care of. I appreciate that. They put in long hours uh, under the supervision of Mr. Case back there, and they, they just do a tremendous job. We're uh, hopeful that this, the weather won't, uh, won't change back to and include any snow because we're running out of materials. And uh, we've had some other districts ask if they could borrow some of our uh, <laughs> salt, and um, I know, uh, yeah, no, Mike did not, say, he did say yes, I had to, uh, I had to work on him a little bit, but uh, like neighboring districts, we're, we're in uh, uh, a period of time now where every, uh, every uh, bit of salt uh, is important to us. I would also like to commend the students and the staff members and the parents who support the Odyssey of the Mind. Uh, we've been, we were very successful this year uh, with representing uh, the Eastern communities at that event. It's, it's uh, if you will, a kind of an independent thing and it's a huge enterprise. If you've never been to Odyssey of the Mind, you could get lost very easily in all of the activities going on and all the folks who were there. But it's a terrific opportunity for our kids, and uh, our parents are very supportive. So we have a lot to be proud of with that. I want to also acknowledge uh, Sweet Charity, which is a, the uh, high school musical, was a, a tremendous success, uh, well attended, and uh, uh, well performed by everyone involved. I hope that uh, some of our students are recognized with. Uh, some excellence uh, through the Freddie nominations because they certainly deserve it. Along with that, we had the All City Concert. And uh, our music staff demonstrates why they are so successful with that because uh, at that concert because they have it so, um, so organized that uh, they can bring together kids from all of our schools in the same room with parents, a full house of people and, and uh, supporters there, 
and everyone knows where to go and what to do. It's an astounding feat of organization. Um, I also just want to say that our uh, winter athletic program is uh, now come to a conclusion, and uh, I'm not sure that we had anyone. Uh, with the last thing I think we had was swimmers and divers at a buck now, but I don't know how any of our kids did. Any any uh, word? Anybody? Yeah, fourth place finish, Alexa Kush, and twelfth place finish, uh, Amanda Rosa. Yeah, great. And our relay team finished in twenty twenty or so. There you go. So that kind of brings to the conclusion the winter sports uh, events, and so we're off and running on spring, right, Mr. Pepper? That's correct. Yeah, so <coughs> spring sports is another sign that uh, warm weather is coming. That's all I have, sir. Thank you. Uh, reports, CIU 20, Ms. Price. Well, we're going to have a meeting um, tomorrow. <laughs> And that's basically it right now. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Price again. The uh, library. For the library, well, we'll be discussing the um, library next month as a committee meeting. Um, I'm talking about the budget and everything. So. And also, um, the library is starting off its summer program and the information about that, and it's going to be superheroes this time. So um, it'll be exciting for everyone to see what books they have for a um, superhero theme. Um, and they'll let me know more about that and I get more information. Um, that's basically it for right now. Thank you very much. CIT, Mr. Snyder. Uh, well, we've met, we've met regularly. We haven't missed any meetings uh, due to weather, fortunately, but uh, everything's going well. There's really no news to report. It's, uh, it's going as, as expected. So we'll meet again in about two weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Community College, Mr. Fagan. We had no official meeting or anything this past month because of middle states. Um, I, I heard about the middle states verbal response and everything, which took about an hour and a half for them to present. And uh, if uh, the written report comes back as well as the verbal, uh, we're in pretty good shape. There is no basic requirements or anything else that we have to make. So that was good news. Additionally, uh, we, I have found out that there have been six districts that have approved our budget so far, so the community college does have a budget for this coming year. And that concludes my report. Thank you. The foundation for Eastern School, Mr. Michelle. Um, Kathy asked me to, to mention the gala, which is coming up uh, in April. And, uh, she said, let's see if we get some Board of Education support. Apparently, I'm the only one so far that, that sent back the uh, invitation. Uh, I'm hoping that you all come out there and plan to honor me as an outstanding community. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, if you just wanted to get it, how did you get it that way? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other thing that's uh, really good news is, they're going to be reimbursing the district $11,600 for the Sizzle Literacy Day Camp that we received from EITC donations. And uh, the Educational Improvement Tax Credit Program allows approved corporations to participate in the program. And the foundation uh, of Eastern School was approved as an educational improvement organization. So subsequently, the Sizzle program had to be approved as a valid program worthy of these donations. And Kathy Miller and the board members solicited donations from many area corporations and were very pleased to receive donations from National Bank, Embassy Bank, and Capital Blue Cross today. Uh, that's the extent of my report. Thank you, Mr. Michelle. Um, we're going to skip that. Letter G, legislative, Mr. Fainer. How much to report? I think everybody's heard about the budget and the, the dealings that are starting to go on in Harrisburg, and I think it's going to be a while until we actually start to hear and see how the budget's truly looking. Um, I've had some discussions already where they're saying we may not see anything until September, that we may not have an approval budget till then. But who knows? You know, we're months away yet from June, so we just have to wait and see a little bit. So no way they can approve their budget before we do ours? It doesn't appear that way. Um, I'm actually going to go back to you, F, for a second. Mr. Vandenberg obviously is absent, but uh, Mr. Fagel, um, you also participate with that board. Is there anything 
new or exciting you want to share? At this point, there there hasn't been much activity or anything. Uh, you know, we had received uh, a few dollars that flowed in based on uh, the selling of a couple properties at this point. But really, until the intersection is completed, we're not going to be seeing a whole lot more. And uh, I think next month we'll have Mr. Monahan on there for that. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you. Stuart, Mr. Cock. I'll please to inter introduce to you Exec Board President Ms. Morgan Weitz, who is also spring sport athlete, Mr. Reinhardt. So hopefully we'll be able to see her there. You go. See, I figured you'd introduce her better than her mother, so that's why I went to you. I took her out to dinner tonight, you know, to <laughs> <laughs> see her for the first time. <laughs> um, so right now the freshman class is just working on collecting dues and a chick fil fundraiser. The sophomore class is planning their spring dance. The junior class has decided to have their senior prom next for next year at Steel Stacks. And the senior class is doing their senior picnic, which is set, scheduled for June 8th, and graduation committee prom and post prom. And all the classes are meeting with Ms. PZK every Wednesday during their lunches to work on EHS Week and Spirit Um March 12th, we had our Special Olympics, and we, had, we were very successful with all the volunteers. We had enough buddies for everyone, so that was good. And the Miracle League, with their big big sale, raised about five hundred fifty seven dollars and donated that to um, Special Olympics of Northampton County. Mm -hmm. And right now, Exec is working with Mr. Easton, so we have tryouts this Thursday, and that is scheduled for April sixteenth, and the tickets will be three dollars. Thank you. Thank you, Morgan. Before you sit down, could you could I just through you offer my thanks to all the students who participated in that Special Olympics Day. That was another. Uh, that was another experience that is just uh, right at the top of my list of great things. Our students. How many? How many students uh, participated, Morgan? Would you say? Volunteers no. Uh, how many students actually participated? Would you have any idea? I would say over a hundred. Oh yeah, well over a hundred students. And you had enough students at the high school for two buddies per student. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, so maybe. Yeah. Then I would say two hundred. Which is absolutely overwhelming. Mr. Cock, uh, you know, I congratulate you and everybody at the high school for getting that kind of support out for uh, students in that special ed program. I just, they did a magnificent job. It was well organized, and uh, students on both participants and also the buddies were having a great time that I saw. Thank you. Thank you. All right, PTA Thank you. <coughs> Good evening. Is this on? I think turn this. Check think this. There you go. Yeah. No, it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Not that you need me to shout any louder. Um, good evening, and thank you again for hearing our update. Uh, we'll go from the high school on down to the youngest kids. Um, the high school has purchased twelve hundred dollars worth of books so far this year for the high school library. Um, they've recently picked three $500 scholarship recipients. In fact, all of the PTAs are in the process of doing that as well. Um, the amounts differ uh, by from PTA to PTA. They are also diligently, and I, I can tell you, it's very diligent, planning the EAS, the EAHS post prom party for May 9th at 11 p.m. It is free to all EA uh, <coughs> high school seniors and their. Um, and their guests. Easton Area Middle School 7-8 um, has asked me to please send our thanks to everyone who participated and attended the Wizards event, and I think especially I would love to report that because I had so much fun myself, and I see my, my teammate Mr. Hightower back there. <laughs> it was a huge success in every way for our school and our community. It was just such a great community event. There were so many things there. Um, in the middle school 5-6, in February, the PTA held its second dance for students with over 500 students attending. The PTA provided a DJ, snack bar, and raffles for a very successful and fun fundraising event. Um, they've extended an invitation to all fourth grade parents to their upcoming PTA meetings in April and May so they can get to know the 5-6 PTA, as well as to fill open positions for next year. Their annual mixed teacher night fundraiser was held on March 10th for fifth grade and raised $742. Um, they would like to thank Mr. Reinhardt for coming out and showing his support that evening. So thank you. 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 Thank you.
McDonald's, one of my favorite. <laughs> 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 yeah, six thirty the teacher notice tonight, so maybe you can rush out of here. <laughs> maybe you can rush out and get some more French fries. Um, they have one student who placed third in the Pennsylvania State Reflections Program for a visual arts category, and then uh, some youth said Niraj, so congratulations to some youth. Um, at Tracy, students and their families had a great day out at Great Wolf Lodge on May 15th. Um, grandparents will be invited to a party with the kindergarten grandchildren on March 26th, and they'll be treated to refreshments and crafts, compliments of the PTA. The fourth annual Tracy Has Talent Talent Show will be held this Friday, March 27th. The administration team and school board are invited and encouraged to attend. Um, curtains go up at 6.30. A fun night. Um, at Palmer, they held a chicky tray auction on Saturday the 21st, um, and it was very well attended by Palmer families and the general public. Uh, moving into the month of April, they are hosting the annual Scholastic Buy One Get One Book Fair, family oriented spring fling dance, and the annual K through 4 Science Fair, and a new event the Palmer uh, 5K Fun Run. At March, um, there was a family game night and the Northampton Triple A um, movie night with Big Hero 6, which is a fabulous movie. So we haven't seen that, so I endorse it. And the fourth graders are going on a trip to the Philly Zoo, which to my memory is honestly the biggest and most field trip that March has ever had. So I know our fourth graders are really delighted about that. Um, that is all for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Bailey, I just want to, uh, I, I want to offer my congratulations to you. Uh, you would have gotten my vote for most valuable player at, the, uh, at that game as well. I was very surprised and very impressed that you were out there on the floor. You even scored, a, scored one basket, I think I saw there, at least one. The other thing, uh, and most importantly, is that I would like to um, acknowledge the PTA um, because March is their Founders Month, and uh, they had a very nice pair of forks. And Mr. Price and Mr. Buscemi were there. Um, and also, I think um, Mr. Vandenberg was able to come a little later on. They, um, they do a lot for the students in the school district. They work very hard, and we really appreciate everything. And so thank you from uh, the administration and the board for all that you folks do. Appreciate it. Ms. Myers, EAEA. -E Good evening. Uh, we have a few events coming up. Uh, we will be choosing our three scholarship winners shortly. Our newest scholarship is the Ed Buckett Scholarship. This will be the second year we're awarding that. Uh, we also have our annual Northampton County Friend of Ed dinner coming up in April, and I'll announce our honoree at, at the April board meeting. Uh, for those who, I don't even know if you were invited, but our annual, at the high school, our annual World Language International Night was snowed out. <coughs> I think because they knew I wasn't going to be able to be there and they wanted me there. Um, it's now April 10th and it's a wonderful, Friday April 10th, it's a wonderful evening of entertainment and delicious home cooked food from all the languages that's taught us at the high school and you're all cordially invited. Uh, the 500 tickets we have are sold out. The board members are always included. So uh, if you would like to attend, just let me know. Um, you know, we're, we're excited about the prospect of working together on the soccer school that I know you're going to discuss, um, you know, in an effort to bring students back into the district. And obviously, we continue to be as anxious as you are to, to work on school funding, which with the budget being who knows when is, is, we realize, difficult. We are pleased that the Express Times articles about school funding were balanced and relatively non-controversial, so I think we were all happy about that. And, uh, you know, we continue to work together for the good of our students, as was discussed by several of the school districts in the articles, and that was a really positive thing to read. Rudy's uh, fist bumping. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You're welcome. Uh, you know, there's a lot of times I can stand up here and say the opposite. But tonight, <laughs> tonight, thank you. Thank you. I don't see Helen Jones. Do you have representative from the bus driver's airport? I see none. 
Number seven. If there's anyone from the public who would like to be heard on agenda items only. Agenda items only. All three guys. Seeing none. We're going to move. Can I uh, ask for a motion to approve the minutes uh, for February 17th and February 24th? So moved. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <clears throat> Can I have a uh, motion to accept the executive session report as listed? So moved. Second? Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. At this time, number 10, personnel, can I have a motion to accept A through including L? Motion with regret on A. Second. <coughs> with regret. Okay. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Number 11, academics, can I have a motion to accept a through and including G. Motion. Second. 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 Discussion. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed. Number twelve. Policy. Can I have a motion to accept letter A, B, and C, which are also all final adoptions? Motion. Okay. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? A and C. No one C. Number 13, security upgrades change order. That was discussed uh, last committee meeting. Can I have a motion? From anybody. Can I have a second? Uh, discussion? Just confirming, I, this was uh, based on changes the district made, not on based on uh, things that were missed. That's correct. This is not part of the... Uh, and, that's, <coughs> and that's why we didn't rebid it. Correct. We still don't the contract that is our attorney verified. We agree with you. Any other comments? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Number 14. May I have a motion to accept A, uh, payment of our bill, and also B, uh, for disabled veterans, the real estate property tax exemption? So moved. Second? Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Miscellaneous. <laughs> I do have uh, one. Our solicitor uh, got back to me now. This is for the board. Um, due to the number of emails that have been received, is there any willingness or desire from this board to discuss the restaffing of the football program in our committee meeting this month? No? Mm -hmm. Everybody just stare. No? <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. So that will not be on. And we will now go to public to be heard on non agenda items only. Anyone from the public who would like to be heard on non agenda items only? Hi, my name is Andrew Gillespie. I was here in the February 3rd meeting and I appreciate your time again. At that time, I talked to you about uh, my petition to help save Tracy School, not to insult anybody's intelligence, not to certainly rush your decision, but just to let you know that, again, people are concerned, people are still talking about it. I was here on that February night with 214 signatures. I'm back with only 50 more, but in getting these 264 people total so far, uh, a lot of them are not Tracy parents, haven't even scratched the surface of that. 
but concerned people who live in the East Bay Area School District who are again wondering what's going to go on with Palmer uh, before Tracy, uh, etc. And, and just to say that that each signature really represents, on average, about three or four people per household, uh, some less, some more. So it's not just 264 people. So uh, I was not able to come to your last committee meeting, and I don't know if any progress has been made, and I know Michelle Robertson isn't here, but uh, I do appreciate your time, and I do appreciate you considering all options, and I'm glad it's in the public uh, and, and out front, and we also appreciate the Express Times article on covering it last time. So I brought copies again for these additional 50 people, and um, uh, this was an old issue, but it's something that came up was um, one hoping that that you know if you are looking to save costs and sell sell properties that maybe you know selling the academy but not selling this building and some people said well what about the trailers if we have excess space excess capacity can we cut back on the trailers uh, sore point for people who lived around Tracy particularly on Pine Grove was, you know the old bus issue and I know that's an old issue but that ruffled feathers as as you know people were talking to me so anyway just uh, bringing this to your attention again. And I made copies of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, if you can uh, report back to Michelle as well, and we're going we're gonna to advertise it, but it, it does look to be on the agenda for the April committee meeting. April committee meeting. So we, uh, we will start the discussion. Okay, great. Thank you. That was a good point. Yeah, we will we'll get the advertisement. Okay, thank you. Anyone else from the public who would like to be heard on non agenda items? Yes, sir. ago was riding on the bus, slapped in his face by a student twice, and called outside of his name. He responded by hitting the shot back. Back to school, there was a discussion with the seventh grade principal, Ms. Martin. Uh, my son admitted to his involvement. The other student did not. Um, my son was suspended for three days. Um, called the school, spoke to Ms. Martin, uh, did not get the reports that I expected. Spoke also with Mr. First. Needless to say, that conversation did not go well. Uh, reached out to Ms. Levitro. Um, left a message for her. Did not hear back from her until two weeks later when I called and left a message for the superintendent. Five minutes later, I then get a response from Ms. Levitro that she had misplaced my phone message. As a parent of a child in the district who has been the victim of the victim of bullying in the class. My question to Mr. Person, I pose the same question to you tonight. What's my conversation with my child supposed to be if he is struck in his face? How is he then supposed to respond? When I posed that question to Mr. First, I was told that he should retreat. I believe that we often ask our children to act differently or greater above that which I myself would do. Uh, quite frankly, as a grown man, if you slap me in my face, probably not going to. So for him to be then charged with physical aggression, I found to be not right. And when I asked about the appeal process with the three-day suspension, I was then informed that there is no appeal process. That's another issue, uh, because I feel that you remove due process from the partnership that exists between the school and the parent. Um, and as a partner, we try and work with the school system, obviously, for the betterment of my child or our children. So my, my, my issue is the lack <coughs> of due process in all cases of suspension. I just feel that it is a dangerous move to give that type of autonomy to the school district, particularly greeted, uh, after being greeted with the arrogance that I was in relationship to Mr. First. And that is the only way that I can describe it. Um, so I admonish you to take a look at that process, that policy. Thank you. Definitely will look at the policy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And if I could just say something to you, sure. off topic. Brought to my attention that um, you are currently still in remission from cancer, and I want to thank you. Give, thank congratulate you. you for that. Thank you. Thank you.
Is there anyone else in the public who would like to be heard on non-agenda items only? Yes, sir. Um, Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Gale. I'm a student at the high school. And uh, first, I just want to elaborate on the topic previously discussed. I have personally uh, read the agenda book. And on topics of violence, I believe it's a no tolerance policy. But I do agree with his points. It specifies that any student <coughs> acted upon in any kind of act of violence can be suspended, taking disciplinary measures for without my, my problem is that it was just vague. It seems to favor, as I said before, the no tolerance to that kind of thing that I think is very unfair. It leaves a lot of a lot of scenarios, such as the one previously discussed, that victims of bullying can easily be taken what it sounded to be in worse punishment than the bully themselves. Aside from that concern, I would also like to discuss the pesticides in the budget, which, as a student athlete, I noticed this fall that... I did not ever receive, I remember last year we got those notices whenever there was a pesticide being sprayed on the fields, which I have not seen this year. I'm assuming it means there are no pesticides being sprayed. And on the fields, that translated to a football practice, clouds of gnats and mosquitoes for every player, and then in the locker room, we have found that so much as dead rats on our floors. I don't know how they got there, I'm assuming they were up on the pipe or whatever, <coughs> falling down. But just my concern, I believe that it is in the best interest of student athlete safety from disease and other issues relating to that to uh, I don't know I don't know the specifics of the pesticide budget, but to add in more, to spray more, if not are already being done, to at least put something in there. Thank you. Thank you. Any other uh I guess some questions? Uh, uh, I appreciate your, your concern about pesticides, and, and we can certainly track that down to see what pesticides have been applied and, and uh, whether or not those notifications went out, because they should have been <coughs> right. Uh, but I'm concerned about what you said related to rats on the floor. I, did, were the adults in charge, uh, did they observe this? Uh, did you see them yourself? I saw the rat myself. There was one that I saw, others that I've heard talk about. I was out on injury for most of the season, so I okay. wasn't there the whole time. Because the big question that I would have is that, you know, that's absolutely uh, unacceptable, you know, to any of us. And had we have known, uh, and, and if that was brought to someone's attention, I'm sure that that would have been dealt with. But I'm not aware that there's been a problem at the high school. Or Mr. Cockney, have you been apprised of that? No. There's, uh, you know, there's always field mice uh, yeah. in, in and around the right. area, but as right. far as rats right. uh, are concerned, but yeah. any rodent is handled and addressed in a rather quick fashion yeah. by our security maintenance sure. staff, and it's done in a humane way as well. We, we will certainly check into that. I'm just, my concern is, uh, you know, uh, for you and, and for all of our employees and students that, you know, it's now April, and if that was observed back in the fall, you know, you, you're not helping us out if you hold on to that. So you can feel free to, you know, talk with the coaches in charge or stop in and see Mr. Cock or anybody else um, and just say that, you know, this is what I saw. You better go check it out. And uh, we'll certainly follow up on that. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else from the public who would like to be heard on that agenda items this evening? Okay, Number 17, any other business from board members? Seeing none, number 18, can I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to second, and I just remind the board uh, we have a short executive session uh, right after the conclusion. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? We need to adjourn the second.